every year there are at least 5,000 visits to the emergency room because of neck problems, shoulder problems, back problems because of the way kids carry their backpacks. In fact, there's actually medical intervention for at least 14,000 children per year because of such injuries. We're here today to show you how to prevent those injuries from happening. Number one, choose the right backpacks for your kids. Kids' backpacks are made with a lighter nylon, so choose a children's back, child's backpack over an adult's backpack. Choose a backpack that has nice, thick straps to distribute the weight evenly, and as an extra bonus, one that has either a chest strap or straps that go across the hips. A backpack that has multiple compartments makes it easier for your child to pack their backpack correctly. Number two, teach your children how to pack their bag correctly. You never know what you're going to find in your kids' backpacks, many things that they do not need to take to school each day. When it comes to packing a backpack, the heavier items, the large books and binders, actually go in first into the back of the backpack. And in the front pockets, you put the smaller items. The weight of the backpack should not exceed 10 to 15% of your child's body weight. So if your 70 pound child is carrying a 20 pound bag, you can certainly expect them to be complaining of back pain. Finally, we put those packs on and a reason why a backpack has two straps is so you can wear it on both sides. We lift those backpacks up so they're high up, so the weight is not pulling on the children's shoulders and that prevents them slouching. So tighten those straps and then we want the bottom of the backpack to be just above the buttock area. In this position here, your child is going to be most comfortable. Oh, <laughs> let's tighten those straps up and have minimal risk of having problems and pain due to carrying those books to school. There you go.